Hey everybody, in this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the Google Flights Google Bard extension in your Google Bard account. So as you might know, now we also have extensions in Google Bard and one of the extension is Google Flights, which can pull in real time flight info for intuitive and personalized travel planning inside Google Bard. So you can use the power of large language models and Google Bard with the powerful data and features of Google Flights. All right, so now let's see how to use the Google Bard Google Flights extension. It's free to use. All you have to do is make sure that if you click on extensions on the top left here, make sure that this toggle is turned on and then you're going to be able to interact with the Google Flights extension. And as you can see, there are some pre-made Google Flights prompt here. You can click on it and check out some of the prompts, but you can also just add your prompt here in the prompt input field. And based on the prompt, Google Bard will be clever enough to know that you want to use the Google Flights extension. So as you can see, this is the prompt I have added. Show me flights to San Francisco in November and give me ideas of things to do. Then all you have to do is click on submit and Google Bard will be able to catch that we want to use the flights extension. So as you're going to see in a moment. Yeah, here we go. As you can see, the flights extension has been activated and now it's using the data of the Google Flights Bard extension. So as you can see, we get some departing flights from Budapest because th this is the location I'm currently at, as you can see here. So it, it can use your location data to find departing flights from your current location to the location you specified in your prompts. And of course, you can change the parameters here to give you even better flight recommendations. And as you can see, you can get the price here, how much time it will take to get there and so on and so forth. And we also get some nice things we can do in San Francisco in November. As you can see, it's using live internet data also. So not just uh, its general large language model knowledge, but as you can see, we get some really specific information about uh, San Francisco events. And one more thing to keep in mind is that if you scroll down, you can check out the Google Flights recommendations by clicking on these links. So as you can see, we get some British Airways, Turkish Airlines, Swiss Finnair Airlines, and we can see if there is a stop in that flight and so on and so forth. And you can click on these results and check out more details on Google Flights. So all in all, this is how to use the Google Flights Google Bard extension. If you want to learn more about other Google Bard extensions or a ton of other AI tools like ChatGPT, Cloud, and other very useful AI tools, make sure to check out my YouTube channels because I have a ton of tutorials and more are coming up, so make sure to subscribe.